everyone welcome back to my channel it's Rachel Ray here and today I've got really special post review for you which means I finished a diamond painting y'all Pocahontas is complete this is called the daughter of peace by diamond art club and it's gonna take me a minute to show you uh, this diamond painting so please bear with me because it is long this is a square drill 42 by 125 centimeter. I started this painting last year when it first released and I got a sneak peek for Diamond Art Club. I asked them if they would if they would turn this picture into a diamond painting and they did and I'm so happy that they did. I'm going to slowly kind of just run it up and point out some things as we're going along. So there are these little kind of dots of white in the background that they have charted into the white Aurora Borealis diamonds. Aurora Borealis is that special coating drill and we're going to point them out here as we're going along the painting just so that you know where they are because I am going to put in a video uh, later on showing you the whole canvas outside. They're in here and along her dress just up here and her shoulder. They're also dotted in the necklace and down here in these little white spots. And you know what? It actually, it really does make a difference in the diamond painting. You can't really tell right now just looking at it from above, but tr trust me, this diamond painting sparkles like nobody's business. It had a total of 52 colors. They're all in here as well and all the way down here in the bottom as well. Can you see all of them? right here. Um, there are 52 colors in total, which I think really helps this diamond painting stand out. There's a lot of shading going on, which looks amazing. It's brilliant. I love it. Um, all right, let's go back up. I'm going to go back up to her face. This is, I'm sorry, this is not normal, but this is, this is definitely the biggest diamond painting I've done to date. It's the longest for sure. And I will have a video probably next week showing you how I'm going to frame this. I have a special idea in mind. Um, let's talk about the cons and then we'll talk about the pros because I want to end on a good note. Um, the, the cons, obviously, this diamond painting came out at the time where Diamond Art Club's drill supplier decided that it'd be a good idea to... Um, do something different, I guess. And um, it really, it really backfired for a long time. But since then, all new diamond paintings from Diamond Art Club have brilliant square drill quality. There are some drills that are smaller than the others, and therefore there's a problem with gapping. So I, I've had this on the screen for a little while so that you can see her skin. There are some pretty big gaps there in her neck here. I'm actually planning on going back and fixing these because they they bug me, but it didn't stop me from enjoying the painting. It just means that I need to go back and, and fill it in with, you know, drills that I think would look better in that section. There's a few in like the background as well where there are abnormally sized gaps in in the painting. I swear it's like my laundry machine knows exactly what I'm about to film a video. Um, so yeah, there, there are places where there's a lot of gapping. And, um, and I know that that has been a concern of other people. I promise you though, that when you step back from this painting, you don't see that at all. You're only really going to see the gapping if you're looking for it. And if you focus on it, and I know that for a lot of people, that is something that they do. Um, fair enough. For me though, I mean, it's only going to bug me in little areas and I'm being completely 100% honest with you right now. I am I am going to fix the skin issue uh, where, you know, the drills don't quite line up. You can actually see the symbol under there. But if you can tell, I don't know if you can tell, but I mean, some people can tell that some of the drills are smaller than they should be. So, that's the only real con. There were there were gappy areas because some drills are smaller than others. 
and there was an awful lot of trash, which I'm going to get to in just a minute, but that's because I was being incredibly picky, y'all. I was doing my best. And if I, if I was being really super duper um, picky about what diamonds I put on the canvas, I wouldn't have put down like that one for sure. But again, not a big deal. Let's, uh, let's see, the stickiness was perfect as always, no problem there. Um, I had plenty of drills except I ran out of one color and I'll talk about that in a few minutes. Um, and again, because I was being super picky and the drill quality wasn't what I like. So um, other than that, it was a, a brilliant piece to work on. I did run out of steam right about here. <laughs> so I think I was at what, maybe I wanna say, the 42 by 50 mark on this painting where I just kind of gave up for a long while. And then that was last year and I was doing a lot of other diamond paintings. And so I used to come back to this diamond painting so that I could get a break from round drills because apparently I had a lot of round drills at that time. Oh, another thing, another thing that a lot of people point out is that her skin is really blotchy. That, that is, based on the way that it was charted but i think that what happened what had happened was and this is just my theory i don't really know um so please don't take my word for it but i think that what had happened was because the original image i'll put it here the original image has like a lot of uh these color changes especially right in here where her dress is here that her skin appears to be like that as well but it's really hard to to translate that into a skin color if they hadn't changed her skin tone like her arms into skin tone it would have been like purple and orangey gold and i think there would have been more complaints if her skin hadn't looked skin like but because of the artwork i don't know that's just my theory um but it doesn't it doesn't really bother me. I don't focus on that when I look at the painting, but you can always change it if it's not up to, you know, what you want. What I really love about about it is like you can see the little pictures inside the dress and I'm I'm just I'm here for it. I love it. Uh, Mandy always hides her signature and I'm having trouble finding it. So if you guys know where her signature is just by looking at the painting, that'd be awesome. But again, this painting is so big that it's hard to see <laughs> all the details until you step way back from it. But I think that that looks like a ring. Do you see that there? Anyway, I really enjoyed working on this and it took me a long time to complete, but I swear to you from, I think I started her, the wax battle, which is coming soon, the battle of the waxes, um, where I tested all of my diamond painting waxes. I started at around, around her hips here, somewhere around here. And I completed the rest of the painting, like half of the painting in just over a week which is insane. So if you really want to go gangbusters on a canvas and you can focus that long, this is a great project to do that with. Uh, just so that you know, just a few little tips. This is the plastic that was covering the diamond painting. The way that I worked on this painting was that I would just pull back one section at a time. You're going to see that in the longer video. So I would work in a strip of about the size of my palm and I would work across and then move down. And that way I could roll up the top of the canvas. Can I just zoom you out for a minute so I can show you what I'm talking about? Okay. Oh, actually this, this is probably a better angle for you. I'm so sorry. So if we roll this canvas with the drills facing outward, you can see there that you can work on this piece while that's all finished up there. Then you just go and you roll a little bit more like so, move it up, continue working. This is how I work on large canvases and it was very easy with this one because it's long and skinny. Uh, the unfinished product you could hang over the 
edge of the table like so and it doesn't damage the diamond painting so you don't have to worry about leaving creases or anything like that nothing like that happened to me i'll just move it up a bit more so you can see isn't it cool okay we're gonna go outside and i'm gonna put in some footage here of the diamond painting hanging up so that you can see the shimmer and the shine and honestly i think that it looks amazing a lot of people have asked me what am i going to do with this diamond painting i am going to frame it in one of those wooden hanging frames the f not a floating frame but a hanging it's like two pieces of wood on opposite sides you'll see <laughs> and i'm donating it to my local library for the kids section because honestly this diamond painting was so much fun to work on it deserves to be displayed but i don't i don't you know i don't think i have a place for it in my own home okay let's talk about the drills that i ran out of i ran out of the color 3818 and i only i'm gonna zoom you back in again okay there it is right there just that patch that is three six nine twelve 18, 18, 19, like 22 drills that i ran out of so it's really not that much um it, it it was only those and then i thought that i ran out of a second color but it turns out that it was because of the way that i stored my drills segue <laughs> let's move the painting and if you're curious how to store these, if you're not going to um, hang them right away, I'd recommend rolling them with the drills outward and then putting them into an artist tube or in a box or, you know, however you want to do it. Here are my, oops, I don't need that, leftover drills. So I used the Elizabeth Ward or Doris container system for this project and it was a dream. But the problem, <laughs> my problem was that I had so many of the 947 drills that I had filled a second container and put it underneath like so, but I hadn't labeled it and my eyes didn't see it when I ran out in this bigger container that was labeled. So I have since dumped that container into here and I'm going to have to fill, you know, fill it in on the canvas. But I just noticed that this morning before I went to go film. Oops. But DAC, I contacted Diamond Art Club and I asked them for replacement diamonds and they said yes, of course. So they're actually going to send both. So I'm so sorry, Diamond Art Club. Um, that was my bad. Um, but I only needed like 20 uh 20 and like 50 so they're gonna send me a bag of each thank you so much i dug into my spares because i did run out earlier on the canvas um and again i'll get to that when we talk about trash diamonds but i had run out earlier and i went into my spares so again this is why i save my drills especially from the companies that i use the most so i always save my diamond art club drills I save all the ones from the companies that, you know, that I use a lot and, you know, in general, most of them, except if they're bad quality. So, okay, long story. I'm sorry. I'm being rambly, but um, I went in my spares and I took out the only bag of 3818 I had, which was from Mono Princess Mononoke. And I used all that bag, which I guess there was only maybe a hundred drills in there. Um, and then I completely ran out. So that's why I asked them for replacements but they're, they're always good about replacing diamonds. It's just that they want you to wait. I mean, every company wants you to wait until you get to the end of the canvas, just in case you run out of another color, which is what I wanted to do too. So those are on the way and those are going to be here hopefully next week. We'll see with the postal system, you know, it could take longer, but um, I will have them and then that's when I'll do the framing video. Uh, I hope you can see that I have plenty of extras everywhere else. I don't think there's another color that I ran low on, even the AB drills, uh, I think, okay, this is probably the only color where I ran pretty low. Hope you can see that. There are, I don't know, maybe 20 drills left, but I wasn't concerned, so it's all good. It's all good, and I did not open the bag of 310. 
because in the past <laughs> I have opened all of the bags of 310 and then I have I have you should see it I have a gigantic bag of, of 310 okay enough rambling that is plenty of leftover drills except for those two well that one color the the second color was my bad right let's talk about trash drills so whoops if you're wondering where I got the little trash can that came from shine shop designs on Etsy this is all the trash so like I was saying at that time, something had happened with the drill manufacturer and, you know, we all know, we all know that's a lot of trash for a diamond painting. I am very picky and I always take out anything that doesn't look right. So whether it has holes, if it has tabs, if it has a concave back, like, like that little, well, you can't see it now, sorry. But you know where there's only like the four points of the square touching the diamond painting, yeah. Um, and then any flash and stuff like that, everything went in here. And I'll tell you what, the green, that green that I was missing, 3818, is a very predominant color, as is the 819. But the black, the 310, I didn't have much trouble with that, surprisingly. So as you can see, it's a very colorful tray, right? <laughs> but there are uh, quite a few with this knobbly bit, as we call it, the little tabs on the sides. So I'm gonna zoom you in so that you can really see the detail of what I'm looking for when I'm picking through the diamond painting. These are the drills that, that don't make it. They don't make the cut. So yeah, I did run out, but it was because I was being so super picky about it. If I hadn't been, then I probably would have had enough. And I could probably pick through here and get the best ones, but I'm not gonna do that because Diamond Art Club has their guarantee. And I I think that that's awesome. I've never had to use it before, ever. <laughs> and I've done quite a few. I have finished quite a few Diamond Art Club paintings, so. Anyway, guys, those are the trash drills and, you know, that it is what it is. Uh, here is what I'm going to do. I love showing you guys how I get rid of my trash diamonds and I get a lot of questions about it. I store them in a jar. So this is my little jar uh, that used to be for peaches. <laughs> um, and you know you can use any jar at all uh, but basically I'm just going to dump these inside it's so satisfying getting rid of those and when I am full my next idea I've seen people use these as sand art kind of like I'm doing here where they layer and layer and layer pretty colors but because these are all mixed colors what I'm going to do is I'm going to use them as a filling for pillows so any crochet not crochet any cross stitch pillows that I might make in the future I'm going to use these with like rice or lentils as a filling and at least that means that it'll have a second life you know it'll have a reason um, it'll have a use and hopefully I mean I keep telling you guys I'm looking for ways to recycle these microplastics trying to find a way to uh, keep them from being fish food because you know I feel really guilty about that um, but all I can do for now is just make sure that they don't get into the water system that they don't get into the ocean and the way I do that is by keeping them in glass jars so if you have any ideas for what I could do with these, I'd love to hear them down below, but that's not the point of the video. So guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, you know what to do, and I will see you soon in my framing video, my wax comparison video, and my next diamond painting whip and chat. So take care, guys. Bye.